gather your children together. Today's recipe is magical. Take a bright rainbow after a rainy day and turn it into a cake. Different colored layers with a delicious vanilla yogurt cream filling. Let's make the rainbow cake. Firstly, prepare the yogurt cream filling because it needs to set in the fridge. So, fill a bowl with cold water and soak the gelatin leaves. Cut them in half to ensure they're fully covered. It takes about 10 minutes. While the gelatin is soaking, heat the heavy cream until hot, about half a cup, and turn off the heat. Once the gelatin is soft, squeeze and let it melt into the cream. Meanwhile, whip the remaining cream cold from the fridge. Add the sifted powdered sugar. And the seeds from a vanilla pot. And now, a little trick to prevent staining. I'm ready. Done. The leaf gelatin should be soft by now, so drain. Add to the warm cream. See, it's already melted. Allow to cool a bit, then transfer to a cold bowl. Now, beat the Greek yogurt until softened. the gelatin mixture to the whipped cream. And stir gently until blended. Now fold in the Greek yogurt. Yogurt cream filling is ready to cool. Transfer to an oven dish to cool quickly. Cover with cream film, touching the surface, and place in the fridge to set for at least two hours. Next, make the batter for the rainbow cake. Separate the egg yolks from the whites. Add the seeds from a vanilla pot, the honey and half of the sugar to the egg yolks and beat the egg whites with the other half of the sugar. Egg whites should be at room temperature for best results. Divide the sugar into equal parts and use half for the egg yolks and half for the egg whites as said before.
beat the egg yolks until pale and fluffy. It takes about 10 minutes. Then pour in the heavy cream. Stir gently. Transfer to another bowl large enough to hold the egg whites as well. Beat the egg whites until the soft peaks form, not stiff peaks. They are still creamy as you can see. Now, sift in the flour and baking powder. This is not a standard sponge cake, but a sponge cake roll, typically used for Swiss rolls. And it's baked at a higher temperature. Fold gently, without deflating the mixture. Then, divide the resulting batter equally into six bowls. Here we are. Six bowls for six different colors. I'm using red, yellow, orange, blue, green and purple. Wear gloves to avoid staining your hands. And start with the first batter. Take a small bowl Add a few drops of water and mix in the food colouring. Add a mixture to the batter and incorporate with a spatula until you get the desired colour. I'm using paste or gel food colourings but also powdered food colourings produce a bright result. Here's the first color. Repeat with the others. Perfect, now it's time to bake. baking tray or a shallow baking pan, lined with parchment paper and a ring mold 7 inches in diameter. Otherwise use a round baking pan. Pour in the batter and bake in a preheated static oven at 390 degrees for 9-10 minutes. Test for doneness after 9 minutes to avoid excessive browning. The cake layers are baked and cooled. Now alternate with a yogurt cream filling that has been blended in a food processor to remove any lumps. Put two thirds in a pastry bag with a plain tip of about half an inch and leave one third covered in the fridge to use for decorating. Start with a red layer. Place on a serving platter add the filling in this way. We 
repeat until all the cake layers are used up. Remove the reserved yogurt cream filling from the fridge and frost the whole cake. A rotating cake stand is very useful here. Take a spatula and coat the sides. You can further decorate the cake with rosettes of yogurt cream, but first place in the fridge to set. Meanwhile, let's see together the ingredients needed for this recipe. Ingredients for the yogurt cream filling: six and a quarter cups of Greek yogurt, two cups of heavy cream, one and a half cups of vanilla powdered sugar, one vanilla pot, one and a half ounces of gelatin leaves. For the cake layers: ten medium eggs, one cup of heavy cream, one and a half tablespoon of honey. Two and a half cups of cake flour, just over two cups of sugar, one vanilla pot, two and two third teaspoons of baking powder, powdered paste or gel food colorings, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. With a pinch of color, you can transform your kitchen into a magical place where dreams come true. Slice into the rainbow cake to reveal the different colored layers. It's the perfect birthday cake. Cook it yourself and let me know if your kids loved it.